Okay, now this is French version Thanksgiving turkey day. I just roast the turkey as typically we roast the turkey with sage, salt, pepper, onion, garlic, and I just cooked it in the oven for the right time. Actually, these little things are pretty handy here so you know it's cooked. And now I'm going to show you how to carve a turkey and make a beautiful presentation. It's actually quite simple, so here we go. There's a little plastic thing that you want to take off first. It really helps to keep things together, but you don't need that. So basically you have four parts. You want to remove first the legs and the thighs, and then we're going to take the whites off. So we're going to start with the legs and the thighs. See, I've got my bay leaves and uh, onions inside. It gives a lot of flavor if you put it inside the turkey to cook it. And then you just get right to the bone here, so it's very easy to remove. And then you just right now put it on that dish just temporarily. parts here like that that you know they're beautiful but put them on the top they're gonna be served for decoration and then you want the whites so you get right in the center here you know there is an, a separation here on the center bone backbone and you just cut you just separate right there all the way to the wish bone Here. Get right to that that uh, where the bones, when the the wing connects with the meat. There, there's an easy bone to cut off. Extra fat off. All right, so we do the other side. And you know, all that left over after that, all the, the bone, the other carcass, don't ever throw that away. This is great to make stock. So when I'm done with that, I'm going to put that in my stock pot and make a wonderful turkey stock. So all of that is still a lot of meat and stuff, but that's going to go to my stock. Now, once you have this beautiful big wing, I'm going to put it back here now. The presentation is important. So you want to make sure that you, uh, so we get this pot off first here, and then you can cut your sliced still pretty hot. And what I did is yesterday, when I was preparing this meal, I also got some chanterelle mushroom with white stock and white wine that I soaked it for, for the whole day. And I'm gonna actually make a sauce with that. So let me show you. This has soaked, this has soaked for, for at least a day. And uh, that's gonna make a delicious sauce. So this is my recipe for this year. It's going to be a turkey, uh, a turkey with uh, chanterelle sauce, and that goes very well with a very strong, nice burgundy pinot noir. 
So I'm going to finish the sauce later, but let's finish up the cutting of the turkey here. And uh, we're going to start to dress the plate here. So we're putting one side here. We're going to cut the other part of the white here. Okay, and then we're going to put that on the other side. The dark meat. Some people really like this part of the wings here, so just go and give it to them. Okay, et voila. That's the way you can present a turkey. It's easy to carve. Nothing is lost because you make your stock with all the leftover. Then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reduce the juice that the turkey produced. He's going to reduce it. I'm going to remove this one. We have two turkeys today, so I'm going to remove this one, cut it. Reduce this, and then I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to filter it, and throw it in here with my mushrooms. Make a reduction, and then um, use a little bit of corn cornstarch. Make it a little bit thick. Don't don't want it too thick. You don't want a gravy type. You want a sauce, and then I finish with cream. Happy Thanksgiving. So we just cut the turkey. We put it on the dish. Then I put the liquid, everything that is at the bottom, you know, what you cook the turkey in, or this juice, I filter them right in the pot with my chanterelle. And so what I have here is the liquid that soaked, the chanterelle soaked in, which was white stock and white wine. I added some brown stock. That even gives more flavor. And all together now, I'm making, bringing that to a boil. And I use a little bit of cornstarch here so we can thicken the sauce. So those who have issues with, with uh, wheat can actually enjoy a sauce without uh, wheat. And so I'm just pouring in a little bit of white wine in here to mix my cornstarch. And we're gonna finish the sauce. You see how fast it goes. Once you have your work prepared, it's amazing how fast things go. Pour it in, bring it to a boil, and then we just add the cream at the last minute, and we are done. We just pour that sauce over the turkey and enjoy a very different style of turkey and a great Thanksgiving turkey with chanterelle mushrooms, which is French version of Thanksgiving. Bon appétit!